All right, guys, we are here. We are here with our favourite little marsupial. Uh, ferrets, are, are they marsupials? Um, I know they're mammals. Mammals, okay. Favourite little mammal, there we go. Um, and at the end of the day, uh, we are talking about Star Citizen leaks. Well, not the Discord Star Citizen leaks because they hate me. But the, the leaks that come out regarding Star Citizen. And we do have some big leaks. Uh, 3.14 has gone to Eva Cardi as of yet. And um, please correct me if I'm wrong about this, Fez. We don't have any patch notes. Uh, we actually we do have patch notes. Oh, okay, we have patch notes. I just haven't got them yet. Um, but yeah, so obviously we'll go through the patch notes. We'll talk about that. But we're going to talk about the the stuff that's leaked out because uh, some interesting stuff. And uh, we'll obviously go through and break it all down. We've also got some shots of Crusader, how it's looking at the moment, how the planet looks. So yeah, it's 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 all pretty good. It's all. You know, it's three thumbs up for our Star Citizen players, but let's just jump straight into it. So uh, those... I'm still getting my patch notes, hold on. <laughs> yeah. Alright guys, so we do have the patch notes. Um, sorry about the bad formatting. Pastebin doesn't seem to want to work on this machine for some reason. Um, so, 3.14.0 Alpha patch has been released to Eva Cardi. Strongly recommended players delete their user folder. Database reset, yes. Long-term persistence enabled. Pledge copy disabled. Starting UAC $15 million. Current build is under NDA. Please monitor certain chat and spectrum for testing instructions. Alright, so current cloud tech is still in active development and not yet final. There's ongoing work on SDF occasion. Uh, 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 um, I've just woken up. Which should help uh, alleviate uh, graphical artificial uh, artificial artifacting visual dots in the clouds. Additionally, we're working towards having local VFX for the clouds, similar for the gas cloud tech around the rest stops, which will make a big difference in overall quality. So, uh, for testing focus, obviously they uh, this build is uh, hyper focusing on Crusader, Orison, and the Glasscow Tech. Many of the other features are particularly in, but we'll let you know when we have ready that for them for feedback. Included in this, all ships and ship functionality. We know those new features are visible in the game, but they are not completely uh, completed or under uh, fully turned in, as their current functionality cannot be intended in the functionality. Intended functionality, well, whatever. Um, Crusader, Orison Landing Zone, limited ships for testing. Do we know what the limited ships for testing are? Uh, Aurora, yes. Aurora, Mustang Alpha, Gladius, 300i, and the Vanguard Warden. Uh, now, is this the HUD display that we keep hearing about? Um. Yes. So... Wait. Yeah. So repeat, uh, repeat the question. Not because I just like you, I am also tired. It's been a long day for me. So we kept hearing about this this HUD display or this this cockpit improvements, right? And my thought right, yeah. the whole time was was that it's going to be the HUDs for the the manufacturers. Uh no. Actually, no? that's not right. Uh the a new the, the, the new i mean the way that i like understand it is uh, like this all right mm -hmm. so for right now uh for right now all of the ships are going to be getting the new the, the, the canvas ship hud uh, update they're basically you are taking the general uh, the general use of like hud that is uh, basically the default mm -hmm. for the, the most of the ships and they're just going to a uh, freaking update it um in the sprint report from inside Star Citizen uh, today, mm -hmm. they said that they uh, that they are currently uh, working on 
the different HUDA types of the manufacturers, and they even showed off um, a sneak a a sneak peek a prototype of the of the HUD for a Drake uh, for the the Drake ships, and it looks pretty good. This? Did I miss this in Inside Star Citizen today? I don't remember. Uh, yeah, you you did miss it. Actually, I'm gonna send you the picture. Yeah, please. Yeah, because I thought. Yeah, I, like I said, I literally woke up and I was like, "Oh, Inside Star Citizen," and like hit play straight away. So it was literally within the first ten minutes of me waking up. So yeah, there you go. Alright, that is this. that is the HUD for the Buccaneer, which is a prototype for the Drake's uh, ship HUDs that will be going on to all all, all of the Drake ships. Alright, so <clears throat> there it is there on the screen. And yeah, and also we are getting some more in-game uh, pictures of a Crusader a landing zone. Cool. Well, sort of send those to me and we'll, uh, we'll do the, uh, those at the end when we go through it. All right, so known issues. Ship capacitors and tuning are, are still in complete state for this build. Small amount of players may experience the first flashlights on Crusader and Arason. Um, Navita, 10th series cards at least. If you're experiencing this, please put this CVAR into your console. This will, uh, will not work in CFG file. It should help with the issue by turning off some of the effects on Crusader. Hmm. Um, so you have to put in R uh, cloud injection in scattering queries is zero. Uh, gas clouds on Crusader appear to have moving graphical artifacts that appear as dots. Uh, large frame UFOs. Rate... <laughs> yeah, large frame rate. It's, it's them putting UFOs in the game. Large frame rate <laughs> drops in most areas of Orison. It's because they haven't gone through a done optimization yet. Replacement balls can be seen on various consoles in the hospital lobby of the Oris. Wow. Okay, so we're actually going in the hospitals. Oh uh, no! Wait, no. It says in the because lobby. Because has has. Pistols are currently going through white boxing right now. Right. Well, the oh, Arison oh. one's already been done. They, they did. They did Grim Hex. They've been talking about Grim Hex today. Oh, well that. then. Uh, mm. Where are you at on here? I, uh, I yeah. Mean... So down below where it says "Replace Me Balls." Replace Me Balls can be seen in various consoles in the hospital lobby on Arison. Replace Me Balls can then... be also seen near the transfer patient transit platform. Then yes, we're getting hospitals in 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 the Orson mm. thing. Um, if a player put a log, uh, if a player logs out before their ship vehicle claim timer is over, the game will make it unavailable at the ASOP terminal. Ships are unavailable. That's a major problem. Yeah, ships are unable to be restocked. That's a problem. Uh -oh. Players can fly ship uh, ships into areas with no collision at the main concourse of the space station Orison. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely. Kamaza Kamikaze. Uh, strange, uh, a strange out of place white texture can be seen all across the industry platform in Horizon. What 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 just happened been to your freaking microphone? I don't know. What what was that? <laughs> that was really something weird. Okay, it might have been on your end. <laughs> Uh, missions do not recognize players entering the uh, zone and the AI unresponsive and not visible to players during missions. Pil uh, pilot weapons HUD will no longer be visible after entering or exiting a turret. Cave FPS missions uh, is withdrawn when nearing a planet. We had that with bunker missions before. AI ship nameplates are missing and show placeholders. Intense fog can be seen in the docking ports interior of all rest stops with docking and the player has no collision when they're manning or the mining turret of the Rock DS, preventing damage from weapons fire. This is the flashing that occurs in, when viewing the amazing Moby Glass. Light emotes do not work while pit bot. So, look, it's the first patch. We're expecting a whole bunch of bugs, right? No, no shock there. So, new features, locations. Uh, new planet, Crusader. New city is Orison. 
comprised of a lattice work of platforms suspended in a mid atmosphere of the gas giant. Arison is considered one of the most picturesque locations in Staten. New Babbage Hospital interior locations. I told you we're getting interiors for the hospital. Uh, adding the interior of the New Babbage Hospital, this first pass will add in the location lobby and additional remodeling of the lobby near the Habs in New Babbage to accommodate the hospital and gameplay in the future release. Nice. Cortec, uh, planet, uh, planet voluntary uh, volumetric clouds. So the initial version will be spoke system according render multiple layers blah 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 atmosphere. This is a, yeah yeah okay we're getting we've got clouds we got it. Graphical setting additions. We've added a few new graphic settings that will help give more control over your experience in the PU. Added volumetric graphic options. We've uh, added load to medium originally default high. Distance for ground clutter. This setting allows you to pick the distance of the camera at which scattered objects spawn. We'll also move towards terrain, dis, uh, distance, so for low, medium. So they're adding depth of field. Um, so if you have like a slow PC or a, a low graphics card, you can then go through and, and change that so you have better performance because that way the game is not having to render things in so far advance. Praise the Lord. <laughs> major bugs, uh, major bug fixes. Uh, do we need to go through the bug fixes or? Uh, just to pick out the uh, top five and yeah. Uh, player friendly list know. in the game should no longer be capped to a minimum of 50 players. That might be, why you, it might be why you kept getting deleted off my list. The loading screen yeah. should no longer enlarge and zoom in and aspect ratios in 6.9. Players oxygen level should no longer start to deplete after using quantum travel in a ship. Temporary fix for the SCU displayed in the 890s cargo capacity, so it should no longer be incorrectly listed as 32. Fixed an issue causing the ECN alert mission countdown to not be displayed. Weapons placed in ship lockers should now be persistent in all ships <gasps> correctly when it's stored and what? retrieved. What? Oh, Ooh. snap. Nice. Now that one... That one right there just... Just... That one may have gotten me a bit aroused. Mm, a happy ferret. Uh, large ships <laughs> attempting to auto land in rest stops should no longer become stuck. Mission givers AI will no longer break if NPC sits. Uh, they should no longer be very obstructive reflective on the 85X canopy. When throwing a grenade, it should no longer have a chance to reappear in your hand or throw with desync. Vehicles with weapon gimbals should now correctly default to fixed mode when their setting is turned on. Fixed an issue where players should no longer fire an FPS weapon directly after switching. Players should no longer remain in ADS when reloading. NPCs should no longer be able to push a player away from a kiosk. Oh, thank God, because they were getting kind of pushy. The hot tub in the constellation should no longer be missing some geometry. The uh, red paint should no longer be displayed as placeholder in the VMA for the EIA, the uh, 2950 uh, one express, whatever. Friendly AI ships during the mission should now quantum away direct, uh, correctly after all hostile AIs have been destroyed. Fixed an issue causing many interior thoughts uh, prompts to be missing or broken. Uh, Delvin, uh, Durovan wore dress, white uniform jacket texture should no longer appear zoomed in. Bartenders should no longer be missing from the rest stop bars. Fixed an issue causing players to be unable to claim their ship from the ASOP terminals. When performing an unlawful mission, pil uh, pilot's drug box should now get despawned correctly after security finished scanning. Armor, uh, ship mannequins should no longer be T-posing. Uh, underground facility turret should no longer be missing. Cruise control speed should no longer ignore the limiter when the player is not in the pilot seat. Player's head should now correctly remain at the ceiling yep, when respawning in a bed. Wiping your helmet visor should now correctly clear the icing. Fixed noticeable performance drops of 10 FPS when navigating to the low rear section of the prowler. And the power triangle should now function uh, within the MDF. Uh, they also fixed four client crashes, a, a four server crashes, and a server deadlock. Right. 
So, that was that stuff. Um, now, we also do have the Star Citizen leaks uh, here, or Ari, actually, um, going through and um, just basically saying, everybody, hey, this is what's in the thing. Um, so they've got some uh, text relating to medical. This is the first thing Aries found, uh, which I can't seem to load. Uh, it's a pastebin file. Uh, they're all. She's going to use pastebin. I have to format this computer, I think, and get this pastebin back up and running. Um, but yeah, um, well, obviously, we'll put a link to this in in the in the description, so you guys can obviously go check out the thing itself. Um, uh, any of those links that that Aries posted are any of them really really good that we need to talk about first, or is it just you know, normal stuff like texture? Um. Let me see, uh, text relating to medical gameplay and cloning. Hmm. Have you seen that? I mean, I've seen it, I just haven't read through it. Um, oh, basically... So it's text, is it? Yeah. Oh, right. Okay. Um, a text relating to refueling gameplay. So, uh... Is this stuff that we want to talk about, or they, just, they can go and check it out themselves? Is there anything that's really... I mean, good? it's on the Reddit. They could could go find it themselves. Right, we'll post um, the link as well to this to this actual discussion, so you guys can go and check it out yourselves and, yeah. and stuff like that. Um, the hacking gameplay capacitors, the, the great cat armor, scanning rework, approachables... Origin Discovery Tour, Mining Gadgets, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. So I mean, we do yeah. have we do have a screenshot of Crusader from Orbit and uh I'm just gonna let that sit on your screen for a couple of minutes. Couple of odd minutes? It should be on there for a few hours. <laughs> it looks really good. They've done a really good job from Orbit. Mm. Yeah. Um, so, uh, so while you are sharing those uh, pictures, mm -hmm. I have something else to tell you. Yep, and we also do have this. This is a screenshot from, actually, from the platforms. Now, it has been cropped because, obviously, the person that leaks it doesn't want to get banned or sued. Um, so they've obviously cropped the image so that they've removed the watermark. So, yep. yeah, let's just let that image sink in. So, yeah, that, that looks like they've done a really, really good job. I'm really, really interested. Um, all right, so what have you got for us? So, a data miners have discovered some, uh, some, uh, 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 some uh, files which are quite interesting. Right. These files are labeled jump points. Oh. And apparently, CIG is going to be uh, testing a jump of points by. Uh, they're setting up two jump of points in the system one at the Microtech and one to Hurston. And this will be a test to the bed for the upcoming uh, jump a gate from Stanton to a pyro. So you're going to still jump within the same system, but you would use the wormhole, for example, to travel from Hurston to Mokrotech. Supposedly. Yeah. Now, like we've discussed many times before, this information is all basically... It's all basically uh, like cami down. So, so well, nothing's actually confirmed until we've heard it from a very a solid a source, mm -hmm. like CIG. So, but Stasis and Leaks is is so so accurate with their information. I I especially look forward to the the four hundred I that I've been promised for five patches now. Hmm. Speaking about ships, mm -hmm. 
my evil Connie, uh, 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 evil Connie, uh, the evil Connie uh, contact has confirmed the existence of the of the Adargo uh, uh, raft. Mm -hmm. The ship is real, mm -hmm. and it's most likely is succumbing. Probably not as a straight to the uh, th 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 viable, but probably as a a, a concept ship sail in 3.14 maybe that's what i would thought yeah i when people were saying it's like straight to flyable i was like mm, nah and yeah. also he said that it, that it it's not a refinery ship so it's it's actually a cargo ship is it no it probably is mm. i mean grain of salt everybody yep. yeah yeah i mean we are still a still a we are still Waiting for the the re refinery. I mean, we finally got the Talon. We got the uh, the mining rock, mm -hmm. and now we have the Xi'an cargo ship. The only ship that they have left that they've uh, promised us from uh, last right. year's Citizen Con is a mobile refinery ship. Yeah. Hey, look. The, the, so. The the, the 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 raft might be a refiner, but to me, raft is something that you cling on to when you're you're you know you're wanting to like move stuff or you're like you're like for example moving yourself from one ship to another. You jump in a raft, right? So, maybe. So CIG, maybe. Sorry, hang on. So oh, CIG are, are, are fairly literal when they. They mean this sort of stuff, right? So when they name a ship the raft, they normally mean that it's used for transferring something or someone from one place to another. If it was a refinery ship, they would call it something to do with refining or something like that instead of being a raft. Maybe. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's actually something else that we haven't considered. Mm -hmm. Maybe the raft is a search and rescue ship. Could be. I mean, that is a bit of of, of what that they uh, the take raft is a, is a, a designed for, right? Well, it's, I would say it's, it's a, a rescue pod, more of a more of an escape pod sort of thing. A raft, it's something that you cling onto when your ship's going down. So maybe it's a mobile escape pod. Maybe it's like the escape pods or something they're putting in. I, we like I said, we don't mm. know. Um, yeah. I, I would say it could be that, considering the fact that we've we've had things like docking and undocking, and I've said for a while now, anybody that's that's missed it, I've said that you know this docking and undocking is a big big thing. It's not just a case of you know hey we got a Merlin yay, <laughs> no like docking and undocking is also things like escape pods, right? Because you have a craft docked to another ship. And you basically undock that escape pod through the escape pod tubes. And that's what you can use those mechanics for. It's the same <clears> essential <throat> mechanic. I said this when, uh, you know, docking came out. So at the end of the day, you know, it could be the fact that it's like, for example, the 890 has these, these vehicles that were on the side where they were like, there was like 10 or 12 seats. And it was like a. It looks like it's an actual vehicle that's docked to the 890. Well, that could be the raft, for example. It could be simple as simple as that. We, we just we honestly don't know until we see it. Mm. And also, one more thing. Mm -hmm. CIG has confirmed that the Redeemer is is making its way through gray boxing right now. Yes. We actually saw the um, internals of the Redeemer in the show. We actually do have a video of that up, guys, if you want, where we glitch the camera through. It looks damn impressive. And they did show some of that off in Inside Star Citizen today as well. They were talking also, about we're getting more pictures from Leaks Live right now. Mm -hmm. I'm saving them as fast as I can. <laughs> um, these are showing off the new uh, default to ship HUD. Sure. Yeah, you want to put Gotta say, up. it does look pretty good. Yeah, send them through and we'll put them up. And at the moment, I'll keep isolating between those um, those three photos of Crusader at the moment. 
So I'll put those up. Yark. You, 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 you. And don't want to send you because that would be inappropriate. <laughs> Do we have any idea what this transit system is? Is it like a train or? Yeah, it's a shuttle system. Hmm. Like you... over at Corp? Basically, yeah, I believe so. It's it, it's basically a, like a giant oversized tram, hmm. but it's a fine. Here, I actually have a picture of that too. <laughs> Let's say a placeholder screen. I love it. All right, so we have that. Like, holy god, Crusade looks so nice. Uh, new ship HUD. There, guys. <laughs> I like the fact that they blocked out the water image, the watermark. The new ship HUD looks really nice, too. Hmm. Wow, Orison is actually bigger than I thought it was going to be. And you see, um, in some of these screenshots, you see these uh, ships in the background that uh, look like a giant sideways, uh, like hockey sticks. Yeah. Those actually move. Those are moving ships. Oh, okay. Uh, 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 apparently, uh, uh, according to a lore, that's supposed to be the Crusader, a carrier, or something like that. Mm hmm. So, a Crusader capital ship win. Hmm. Damn it, just close one of them by accident. And there's the shuttle there, guys. Shuttle looks, yeah, standard. But you can see one that looks like it's over on the left side, on the right side as well, so that's the outside view of it. But yeah, it's a standard, it's a shuttle. Shuttle's a shuttle. You know, at the end of the day, there's no real big thing about that. But... Hmm. Also, one thing. Um, I'm having a hard time connecting to the the server. It's, it keeps saying that I'm timing out slash can't connect to host. Uh, oh, is that for Atlas? Yeah. I will yeah, fix that in a sec. All right, guys. So apart from that, obviously, look at the end of the day. Um, yes, we do have a Atlas server up and running at the moment. Well, supposed to be up and running. <laughs> Um, but yeah, at the end of the day, guys, obviously as for this, uh, look, Crusader looks freaking amazing. Um, I can't wait to see it. I would expect that it's probably going to go maybe to wave one, maybe the end of next week, I would say. Um, and then I would say live is probably going to be the week after that. Um, so at the moment anyway, um, presuming they can get these, these performance fixes. So I think it's going to be slightly delayed. Um, I don't think we're going to see it until maybe the, the, the week of the 5th for live version. Um, but obviously when it goes to uh, to Wave wave 1, uh, when it goes to conscious and subscribers and stuff, obviously we'll be playing it live on Twitch um, and on putting the videos up on YouTube. Apart from that, guys, obviously, uh, Fez, anything you want to say about Crusader besides Shawing? Give Redeemer now. 
Mm. <laughs> Redeem is not this patch, though, is it? Next patch. No, it's next patch, unfortunately. Yeah. All right, guys, let us know what your thoughts are in that comment section below. Obviously, if this video has been helpful, please smack that like button. If you're new to the channel, welcome and subscribe. Um, apart from that, I, I love everything that I see. I can't wait to get my little hands on Crusader. It's going to be my new home spot. Apart from that, guys, uh, yeah, let us know what your thoughts are in that comment section. Apart from that, guys, we will see you in the next Demand Size video from YouTube. Have a great night. Enjoy yourself, everybody. And uh, we'll see you playing uh, Star Citizen. Or Atlas, if you're on our server. <laughs>